Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Stardew Valley. Um, so today is an exciting day because it is the first birthday. It is Mayor Lewis's birthday, uh, so we'll make sure to bring him a present. Um, we'll read the rug report. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful and sunny day tomorrow. Oh, good to know. Fortune teller. Are the spirits in our favour? Yeah, they feel neutral. Okay. Let's see what people have posted to us. Dear Mr. Isaac, last night a Joja team member found you incapacitated. A medical team was dispatched to bring you home safely. We're glad you're okay. You've been billed 62 gold for this service. Morris, Joja customer satisfaction representative. What an asshole. <laughs> Basically, he found me unconscious on the floor, carried me over here to where I could have wanted to be sleeping on the floor. He doesn't know. And then basically just build me for the service. So thanks a lot. Um, yeah, okay, there's nothing nothing else in the mailbox. Ooh, we got some potatoes. You know, like a right little Irishman. Um, I was gonna start fishing then, but I don't even have my fishing stuff. In fact, I don't have any of my tools, because they're all in here. Um, Up. and then do some watering because it's not raining today unfortunately and something we can do today as well is well for one we got some spring seeds from doing the bundle yesterday, so we can plant these spring seeds, um, which means we're going to need a bit more plot, I think. Uh, let's just expand out this way. Um, there we go, yeah. And here, here, here. That should be enough. I don't know. I haven't actually counted it, so I don't know. I guess we'll see. Um, no, nowhere near. Okay. Um, yeah, I've got 15 left. So, I guess I'll just throw some more. Oh, I didn't to do it there. Oh well. Seven more. Just go up here, I guess. Oh, one left. Typical. Um, plonk it on the end of here. Right, now we have to go around and water all these, so that's going to be a hassle, but oh well, we have to do it. Oh god, we've almost run out of energy for the entire day. God, you really do run out of energy quick on this early stage, don't you? Um, oh, we're not going to have enough energy to go into town and give um, stuff to Lewis. Do we have anything that we could eat? Oh, we've got algae. Oh, you can eat that, right? Yeah. And some more. Just keep on eating algae, that will give you your energy back. Okay. Um, right, should be able to fish watering, then quickly go give Lewis his present, and then we might have to have an early night, because just due to lack of energy. Um, I won't count that as the two nights. Uh, for, for this episode though, because, well, it's not really a full day, really, is it? Um, oh, that's a good point. What are we actually going to give Lewis? Um, what would old-timey Mayor Lewis like? I'll give him a topaz, sure. Um, 
You might like a topaz, it's a nice gemstone. You give gemstones to people for their birthdays, so... It's a fitting present. Is he going to be at his house? I hope so. Mm, this is his house, right? Or is that? Yeah, yeah, this is his house. Yeah, he's doing some gardening. A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. Oh, I love it. You're welcome, Mr. Mayor. Um, wait, hold on, I want to talk to you. Sniff, sniff. Uh, I said you've been spending some time in the old community centre. It's good to know someone's taking care of that place. I am indeed. I am filling it with all kinds of neat stuff. Um, right, yeah, like I said, probably going to have an early night. <laughs> well, I say early night, more like early midday. But um, there's literally nothing else I can do with that little energy, so... Um, might as well just go to... Oh, that's why I ran out of energy so quickly. Because I passed out, didn't I? Um, and I only had half. Makes sense. Right. Yeah, let's just go to sleep. <laughs> that was a very uneventful day. There we go, full bar of energy this time. Weather report. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. For God's sake, that's not what I want. Ah, yes, I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits feel neutral day of day is in your hands. Okay, I can deal with neutral. That is fine. Right, I need to get this watering can upgraded because it is just not helping. Not being able to water much. So, I think progress towards making a furnace is going to be our next bet. So that we can get some copper bars, so that we can upgrade to a copper furnace. Uh, to a copper furnace, to a copper copper watering can. Um, and then, once we've done that, we can upgrade our other tools. But watering can, I think, takes priority at the moment. I almost forgot the one that's behind the scarecrow then. It would have. Oh, out of water. Okay. That would have been bad. Well, it wouldn't have been that bad. It would have just meant I was, left. I was sort of down one crop, but. Oh well. I managed to get it anyway. That's half my ha that's half my energy down already. Um, right. So what I did want to go do was well, first things first. What do I need for a furnace? Twenty copper ore. Yeah, I remember that. Remember last episode we were looking for. So we've got twenty copper ore. Um, and we've got enough stone, so we can actually make a furnace. There we go. That's that there. Um, now, I need five of ores of the ore to make a bar. Which I do not have at the moment. Um, uh, I'm going to take some of these things to uh, the Gumpfer at the museum because he might actually give me some stuff for it. Yeah. So, that's the only two things I can really take. Oh, actually, what I can do is stick these other two topaz in the... There we go. And one takes the museum. Uh, there's a new thing. Oh, use a furnace to smelt on copper bar. That was my plan game, yes. Right, um, yeah, pick up a dandelion on the way. Do, 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 do. Um. Oh, I'm gonna just eat it, aren't oh, no. I? Uh, yeah, it's like all green slime, sure. I'll probably do that eventually anyway. 
Um, and I didn't see a time limit on it, so just do that whenever. Um. Oh, another daffodil. Oh, Gump wants to talk to me about something. That's depressing. I've just finished my eye, bro. <laughs> Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. Whoa! What's this? You found something? Let me see it. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Hmm. I've got a favour to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across something interesting. Some interesting items to send your way. Sounds like a plan to me, dude. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. That's literally why I'm here. Oh yeah, we got the new book last time, didn't we? Um, it's very awkward though, though. Okay. This is a book by Marnie. Animals are very sensitive. They like to be pet every day. I prefer to eat grass outdoors than dry hay. They don't like being outside in the rain. Though. They don't like being outside in the rain though. Happy animals produce high quality products. Cool. Any chance I could read that one as well? No. That one. There we go. Tips on farming. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to get rid of the notification, to be honest. Don donate to museum. Ta-da! There is two items in your collection now, Gumpher. And I get 250 gold for my efforts. Brilliant! So, what quests do I have to do? Spelting, gonna do that. Initiation, just slay a bunch of slimes. Deeper in the mine, reach level 40, that might be a while. And build a coop again, that will be a while. Um, what? Okay. So, I mean, is that a monkey in there? Look like a monkey. What is that? Hmm. It won't say. So, if we go back. To our home now, and we can go get um, our pickaxe and stuff, and probably do some more mining today. Oh, actually, something I do want to check while I'm in town is what, whose whose birthday is it next? It's Vincent's birthday on Wednesday. Okay, so in two days. Um, so we'll probably get to Vincent's birthday next episode. Um, Do I need to make the cherry bombs? Four copper ore and one coal. I might make, I might just make one cherry bomb just to take down with me. Might be useful. Right. Yeah. Um, anything else? Maybe something to eat. Um, oh, I don't have any algae left. And nothing else really produces any energy. Oh, I could eat a small mouth bass. Sure. Th yeah, these don't aren't needed for the community center, are they? I might just eat these. Yeah, I'll take the fish down to eat if I need more energy. And uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go do some mining. Because we're yet we're still yet to get a geode, which I kind of want to get because geode openings are, you know, pretty lit, fam. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's gonna be a running theme on every episode. I say one very one. I say one really cringy thing um, that I, when I look back on later, I'm just gonna be like, oh, why did I say that? <laughs> um, but you know, what's life about a little bit of risk? Why am I picking up these daffodils? I don't know. I just have. I, just, I do it compulsorily, really. Pick up the leak, because the leaks actually give me energy. Hello, Linus. Here you go, Linus. Have a daffodil. This is a great gift. Thank you. You're very welcome. I did just pick it out of the ground. But that seems to be what you like anyway, so. Oh, yeah. I made it down to floor nine last time, didn't I? And then I thought I was going to pass out, so I... Um, but if you pass out in the mine, then I can't remember what happens, but I know it's bad. Um, so it's something I don't particularly want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, sure, I'll just plonk the cherry bomb down there. Okay, didn't really get me anything other than a bunch of stone, but oh well. Um, okay, you're ignoring me, I'm just going to ignore you. Alright, let's head down. Hello, slime. There you go, I have a quest to kill you, so I'm actually going to kill you. Any chance of a geode, perhaps? Or some sort of artifact? No. Ooh, copper. Do you need copper? And more copper. Oh, yay, a geode. There we go. You found a geode. The local black blacksmith can open it, open it for you. Who knows what might be hidden inside? Exactly. It's it's basically the loot box of this game, to be honest. <laughs> like, even though you don't have to pay extortionate amounts of real world money for it. So, you know, better than the loot box in my opinion, but I know, uh, the the whole culture around loot boxes in video games is questionable. Like, you know that companies only do it to make money. Which, you know, you've got to, that's what businesses are there for, to make money. But, you know, it should be a healthy balance, I think, between making money and making something that's, you know, artistically and creatively good. <laughs> so, which, you know, I'm not, I'm not against the entire, the entire thing, but I don't know, I just find it questionable. Oh, well, first bro rock I broke was uh, the right one. Hello, slime. Come on, come to me. Alright, I'll come to you then. Uh, come on. Wait. Hit me. There we go, you're dead. Wait. No, three out of four. I should probably eat one of these fish. Um, I don't know one. And the final one, why not? Eat them all at once, get a nice burst of energy. Might eat leaf as well. Oh, Jesus Christ, the leaf gives you loads of energy. I don't want wood. I don't know why I picked that up. Oh, well, I'll just get rid of it if my inventory gets full. More copper. Thank you very much. More copper. Oh, it fucking slowed me, you dick. There we go. 
go. Yeah, now I just need to talk to Lewis about that. Pick up the quartz. Ooh, hello, you're new. I want you. Um, get rid of wood and the bug meat and slime. An earth crystal. Why, thank you very much. I appreciate a good earth crystal. Some more copper. Go, got you. Oh, journal updated. Oh. So I've killed enough slimes now to be accepted into the adventurer's guild, which is good. And more copper here. Get one more level before I leave, just so that I can, just so I can teleport back to this level. Ooh, an amethyst. Good. -o. That's that's good. That's another thing to give to Gumpfer. Um, get all the slimes. Get all the copper. For a lot, so I might get it just so that I mean it stacks anyway. So oh, another amethyst. I know I think amethysts do sell for a lot, so that's something at least. Ooh, a chest room. Hello, leather boots. You received a pair of leather boots. Can put them on my person. Ooh. Oh, these are my levels. I forgot about this. Yeah. So, with one on foraging, one on mining, oh no, one on farming, sorry, one on mining, one on foraging, and two on fishing, and none on combat, even though that's probably going to change tonight now I've been killing a bunch of slimes. Um, oh, yay, Lewis likes us a little bit, because we gave him a birthday present. Um, Linus likes us the second most amount because we've given him presents twice. Um, map, no. Uh, what do I, collections, no. How do I put on the leather boots? Oh, duh, it's down here, okay. Um, plus one defense, plus one immunity. Yeah, cool, that'll do. Um, should we go down a couple more levels? Yeah, sure, why not? We've got time. If, like, if we run out of time, we can always just go back up. Ow! Go away! I, I took a lot of damage there. Not as much damage as I actually wanted to take. <laughs> I didn't want to take any damage, but you know. And there's some copper. I actually have to. What the? Go away! You're buzzing very loudly. Stop it. Come on then. Fight me, bro. Oh, almost. Come on. Got him. Oh god, there's another one. It's too many. I'm actually going to leave now because this is actually really hurting. Ow. Ooh, 
Leave the mine, please. I was not prepared for that moth person. No, it's not a person. That moth. I was not prepared for him. We have more than enough time to get home without passing out. Ooh. Oh, no. Linus, what are you doing? Oh, oh, oh that's so sad. He's digging through the rubbish. George, you grumpy bastard, don't you dare say anything to Linus. Grr, sounds like those raccoons are back again. Filthy vermin. Well, I'm, okay, you think it's raccoons, so that's fair enough. Ah, uh, you turned up at the right time, sir. Could you do an old man a favour? Could you go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me? They've been causing a real mess. Thanks. Make sure you give them a good scare so they never come back. Oh, he oh, looks so sad. It was me. I'm sorry. I find a lot of hot, fresh food in these cans. Stuff that will go to waste if I don't take it. Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? No. You do what you can to survive. But, yeah, it's, it's George's private property. You should probably not. I'm not say stop, get a job and stop leeching off others, because that doesn't show very much empathy. Yes, it's illegal. That's George's private property. Yes, it's disgusting. Again, doesn't show much empathy. I mean, kind of. But, no, I'm just going to say it's a shame for food to go to waste, because, you know, he's right. It will just go to waste if he doesn't have it, so. Thanks, Isaac. I knew you were an open-minded person. I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. Yeah, true. You can go on home. I promise I won't rubbish in George's can anymore. See, even though I told him it was okay, he said, he said that he doesn't do it. I can tell him you scared off the raccoons for good. <laughs> and then he just goes and, and rummages in that one. <laughs> Wait. Oh god, is he going to tell him off? You know what you were doing, Linus. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. Oh, Gus, you sweetie. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Mm, that sounds nice. Just make sure to dip them in my spicy marinara. Go on, take it. See, Linus, you can just ask for help. Everyone wants that. Wants to help you. Right, okay. Time to go home. It is getting late. I'm trying to get home. I should get home in time, I think. It's only ten past twelve. Won't take me two hours to get from town to my house. I think I might even have time to sort through and see what I want to what I want to sell and stuff. Um, so, sell one amethyst, sell one crystal, sell quartz. I can sell daffodils, I guess. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's all in there. Now, time to get some shut eye. Go to sleep for the night. Yes. Farming, foraging, mining. Right, so 150. Oh, so just from the daffodils, I've got 150 gold. Ain't bad. Wait, so how many did I sell? Fit five. So there. 
my maths is taking a serious toll today. 150 divided by 5. 30? Right? Yeah? Uh, as you can tell, um, I'm not the greatest at maths. Um, topaz, 160. So that'll be 80 each. Uh, Earth crystal, 50. Amethyst, 100, yeah. Amethyst does go for quite a bit. And then quartz, 25. Cool, 485 gold ain't bad. Day 9 of spring, year 1. Cockaloodle do indeed. Have a letter to look at. Robin here, I know there's a lot of stone scattered around your farm. If you have a surplus, you might consider having me build a well for you. Wells can be placed all over your farm and can serve as convenient places to refill your watering can. I really don't think I'll be needing a well, because, well, I chose the river thing, and water is everywhere on my farm, so, you know, not really the most useful thing for me. Got some parsnips. We just need to sort of give a good water. Fill up all I can. Once we water everything, we can probably go to Gumper again, as well as Clint. Um, one, see what's in the geode, um, and also give any new, uh, like give the earth crystal and the amethyst to uh, Gumpa. Okay, these, these, all, these crops should all be ready soon. Um, I'll our water. Get off one crow. Good to know. Um, what I will do, because I can now, is just stick in some of that. I do need some more coal. I'm not quite sure where you get coal from. Um, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Um, so, yeah. So I think. What we'll probably do, since we did like sort of half a day uh, beforehand, what we'll do is we'll go to Clinton Gumfer and then once we've done that, we'll end the episode there. Um, hey Shane, how's it going? I'm not going to give you the geo. That would have been very bad. What? What do you want? Go away! Jesus, Shane, calm the fuck down. How about you, Alex? Do you want to talk? The beach is a cool place to hang out and soak up some rays. Oh, you're like a mixture of a jock and a surfer dude, aren't you? I like Alex, but he's a bit of a douche. Just a bit of a douche. Alright, so we'll go to Clint first. Let's see what's in the geode, because if the ge if what's in the geode is an artifact, then give it to a thingy. Da -da -da. Oh, it's an earth crystal. Alrighty then. Um, so we've only got two two more things to give to uh, Gumpler then. Just the earth crystal and the amethyst. Donate to the museum. Done. Um, I think it's five things. Once you don't have five things, you get your first reward. So, you know, might get a decent amount. So we can look at these things right now, right? Yeah, topaz. Fairly common, but still prized for its beauty. Quartz, a clear crystal commonly found in caves and mines. Amethyst, a purple variant of quartz. Earth crystal, a 
resinous substance found near the surface. Alright, pretty cool. Um, this is flashing. Oh, right, yeah, I just need to go talk to people. Enter the Veterans Guild and talk to Lewis rather than slaying monsters. Cool, well, I think I'm going to leave that episode here. Um, if you enjoyed, leave a like. Um, and, you know, if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. All that noise. Um, yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!